Hi, welcome back to Noah's Nonsense. I'm your host, Noah Bratz. Today's date is July 19th, 2020. It's approximately 3.30. I am wearing my Droid Rage socks, and it is just a gorgeous day today. My family's at the beach while I'm stuck in my studio at my grandpa's house, which I rent um, for in labor. Thanks. Back on to the video. Nature. It's a beautiful thing, really, if you look at it in a whole new perspective. Well, or not, depends how you look at it now, I suppose, but I've always loved nature. There's there's days when I feel so frustrated with life, and I just take a deep breath, and I walk outside, and I just feel relieved. And I know there's studies behind, like, exercising, like, it releases dopamine do dad or send our like health class but you know that kind of do but like pine trees are probably my favorite tree and then it's probably oak um i really do like redwood too i did a project on that back in mrs van Hoovel's seventh grade english man that was a long time ago but man just nature's a whole different thing like you know when when you go in the cities you just you see people you see cars you see pollution you see a lot of things, I mean, yeah, you can argue on the other side of the coin that yeah, you see innovation and modern day era things I'm blanking right now, that's all right, but but nature is just so relaxing in my opinion, and I just sometimes you know when i yeah like i when I said when I get frustrated, I just look out in the distance and sometimes I daydream, but I, I do that all the time, but there's times when I just look into there and, and always wonder what, what's farther you know like there's places i'll never go in this world no one could be everywhere and explore everything it's just possible when i when i go into the swamp or marshes in my local area and there's paths that i haven't even traveled before and it's just nice to see it different and and then sometimes you see beautiful animals like oh, what was i doing i was walking a while back with my grandpa and um, we saw birds, um, I forget what kind, and all sorts of things, and we were looking for trees for my science thing, and it was just nice to spend time with two and, and go, go camping with people and, and other things too. Um, I love camping with the Boy Scouts, my family hasn't gone camping in a while, but that's not relevant to this, but like, every time we go together, I mean, it's always a blast. Sometimes... There's ups and downs, but it's always fun though. I, I my favorite is Bear Paw. It's Iron Mountain. It's like a two hour drive. It's just pure nature. I mean, we have buildings, you know, like a mess hall and bathrooms and all of that. And but it's just nice to be around trees and have to have to pack mosquito spray and sunblock and and all of that. And uh, my new job, one of the guys I was talking to, well, group of them. We I don't you know. That, yeah, a group of people I was talking to, and we were talking, I don't remember how it popped up, but we were talking about um, camping and how you, you should, oh, what do you say? He was like, you should have to spend more time packing up your tent, complaining about it, uh, asking where this uh, mosquito spray is, um, having... Uh, oh, I remember how it all started now. It was a guy I was talking about coffee and how he bought this fancy thingy because he wanted to get, like, better routine or enjoyable. There's a lot of reasons, but I thought, like, oh, that's pretty neat. And then the guy was like, well, yeah, I can bring it camping because there's probably no electricity. And then the other guy is like, yeah, you know, you got to really suffer, like I said with all that. And then, you know, it's true camping. And, and I just smiled on the inside. And I probably was smiling on the outside because... I felt that I found I found that so re relatable that um, you know because I'm a Boy Scout in case I haven't said that but I, I love the Boy Scouts the nature the hike what we do I love the community we serve it's just a good atmosphere and I love I love camp I love the outside I love I love knowing like my favorite trip um, was like the Wisconsin River and we were going I don't. I don't think the current was 10 miles per hour, but it was booking. I, I don't know how fast it is, but it might have been too far, I know, but I felt like we were cruising, and me and my buddy and I were um, paddling. I was, I think this was my first canoe trip, so I think this was this was my first or second canoe trip. I think it was my first, so that had been like four years ago, 
And I was in the front because I was like, ooh, I was 80 or 90 pounds. I don't know if I broke 100 at that point. Maybe I was over. And my buddy weighed like 140. So we were at like 240 pounds. And we'll say with the gear he had, say we were at 250. All right, I'm 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 probably off, but that's a yeah, well, reasonable. I don't know. Maybe we were 300 or who knows. But we were an X amount of weight. And we were going down. And I loved this one so much because well i'm a really bad canoeer actually like don't 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 pick me but we had a good time but we were so light i'm not even kidding i i wish i could get a photographic evidence but me and my guy we were barely under the water like we were maybe an inch or so and there was times like i remember one spot that the water i'm not kidding i could have pulled out a ruler and went to red an inch inch and a half not even two no it was under two inches and my buddy and i kept cruising while everyone had to get out and start pushing their canoes and we just kept cruising across and it was oh this is such a great it was so beautiful and then they were like and it was there's other events too that happened like sometimes we would go through like rocks or sticks or things we were, were above the water like not above but like on the level of it like that i didn't see because i'm in the front and i'm like yo there's a rock left right you know that kind of navigation but there's sometimes we'd be like just barely under the water and we just go skim right over it and my buddy and i were we were just having so much fun uh that those were the days and i love that one um because we were on the sand dunes which is like a sandbar sand dunes i don't know what you call them they're like little not really big islands like uh, I don't remember how big they were, but we camped on there. It like you could go from one end to the other, and there was water all around you. I guess that's what an island is, but um, it wasn't very big. Um, uh, gee, I'm bad with numbers and distance. Um, we'll say it's like a hundred yards by hundred yard. No, I don't think it was as big as a football field even. It was probably half that size, maybe like circumference. You know, add some nature in there. It was just complete sand, and I remember that um we were going and the Irish trips some some people had tents leak and they had they sealed it put it leaked again some people flip canoes um my buddy and I they they gave us extra stuff to like put in our canoe because they knew how light we were um I don't remember what we ended up but it was like the heaviest things and we were still at that point we were probably two inches under the water but we still kept going over everything having a blast I remember we put up a picnic table on an angle and we called it at sail and so we got some extra <laughs> speed off of that and yeah i just it was just a lot of fun on that canoe trip i love that canoe trip i i really love nature um i might do a video um like in more greater detail about the canoe trip because i really like that story i mean i don't know i kind of said like the outline but there's some finer details i could sprinkle in there and um with that i'd like to thank everyone for watching tell your folks i say hi and have a good day